What's up, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with a video for our first preseason game of the year versus the Seattle Seahawks at 9 o'clock on NFL Network on Saturday night. I'm trying my absolute best. I've noticed that I always like look away at the camera like that as I'm talking, but I don't know. I just like to gather my thoughts. So if I do that, just bear with me. I've always noticed that, but I've never really said anything about it. But it is what it is. It just feels weird to me, like looking at a camera from this, like, close to the camera. But, um, yeah, the Seahawks game, I'm not going to do any trash talking for the preseason because it's preseason on this couch. It's just to get experience for younger players and to get the uh, older players and the starters ready for the season. This first game really doesn't have any um, big headlines to it, um, really. But the headlines that are there is uh, Matt Hasselback has been named the starter for the first preseason game. This really doesn't mean anything going into the season. This doesn't really show which way the coaches are leaning. I've heard Jake Locker, but uh, this is just a preseason game, so it really doesn't matter. I ex fully expect Matt Hasselback and Jake Locker both to get probably two series each, if not more. Maybe maybe one of them will only get one, but that really, if that's the case, that really won't mean anything uh, to, like, um, who's going to be the starter or whatnot. But like I said, I fully expect them both to at least get two series each. And then it'll probably, um, probably be Rusty Smith and Nick Stevens from there on. Um, and they'll probably get, go a little bit more each, uh, each game. We'll probably know by the end of the preseason who the starter is going to be, either Jake Locker or Matt Hasselbeck. But this game actually is going to be pretty interesting playing the Seahawks because we get to see Terrell Owens back in pads for the first time, which seems like five years. But we'll get to see how he does, and we'll get to see each of the quarterbacks play for the Seahawks and see uh, how Russell Wilson and Matt Flynn and Tavarsha Jackson are doing. And it'll be pretty cool. They'll they'll probably win the game honestly because they'll have they have three quarterbacks that potentially can be starters, probably playing for them all game really maybe. And at least more uh, of a larger portion of the game, but um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Seahawks win. It really doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I'm gonna like to see how Chris Johnson does running behind his new big lineman, Steve Hutchinson. I'm really excited to see how he's gonna do this year. I think he's gonna be one of the most valuable added pieces to this offense or to this team as a whole, because um, our offensive line really struggled last year, especially on the interior. And he's really going to help anchor the left side of that offensive line. And that's what we were lacking last year was that explosive Chris Johnson. And if we had to have that this year, I mean, we were a, basically almost a playoff team with Chris Johnson have a, having the worst year of his career and without our best receiver. And, uh, um,. And that happens, plus we lose to the Colts. If we wouldn't know, that sucks. You are the only win for a team, and that is the decisive factor on making the playoffs or not. That that sucks. And that didn't get as much, as much publicity as that should have got. Um, I mean, how can you not make the playoffs from losing to a team that is that bad? That's, just, that's sad. But, uh, what else? Oh, Kenny Britt acting like an idiot again. I don't I I don't even know if Kenny Britt's gonna I don't think he's gonna play this game. I have no clue. Um I don't think he's gonna play. I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure he's probably not. I know Kendall Wright this will be his first game as a Titan, it'll be fun to watch. He signed his contract if last week I believe. It was uh I don't know how much money it was, but um another guy I'm excited to see is Taylor Thompson, the converted tight end from SMU. He was a defensive end, as you all know, but he's playing tight end. He's had some sick catches in the uh, in training camp, so I'm excited to see him. I think he'll develop. He'll it will take a, probably a few years for him to start behind Craig Stevens and Derek Cook, but he's going to mature and I think he'll be a really really good tight end. Um, not Rob Rob Gronkowski isk, but kind of like him. He's kind of similar to him in a way, so it'll be very exciting to see him play. Um, but yeah, I like to see our receiving core. See how they're going to be doing. Um, the QB battle is going to be fun to watch from the both sides of the football. Both, both. It's going to be a competitive game because you have a bunch of quarterbacks competing for the starting job, and Russell Wilson, Tavares Jackson, Matt Flynn, and on the Titan side, Jake Locker and Matt Hasselback. Um, what else? Oh, on the uh, I'm the one of the main aspects of this team that I'm worried about this year is our secondary. 
because um, I was kind of already suspect about our secondary going into the season. And then I heard the stats against that little practice we had against the, the Falcons. I don't know if it was a 7-on-7 seven seven or if it was a full, um, not a full contact, but like a full team little scrimmage. But I looked at the stats of that little scrimmage we had going on for the Falcons. Um, and uh, their starting quarterback, Matt Ryan, was 4-5 passing. Their backup, Chris Redman, was 5-5 five five passing. Their third string quarterback, Dominique Davis from East Carolina, don't know why that came out of my mind. He was 6-6 six six passing, I believe. And, uh, funny as it is, John Parker Wilson, the Alabama guy, you see all the Alabama stuff, was one of four passing. So he was the only quarterback that did bad. But um, when you have second and third string quarterbacks having 100% completion percentage against your secondary, that's not a good thing. So I'm very suspect, suspect of the secondary. Um, but you got to see how... Um, Alterion Werner um, replaces Portland Finnegan at our safe uh, corner. Um, it's, we got Michael Griffin back, so that's one positive for the secondary. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to point out. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, Cameron Wembley. I'm excited to see how he does. I know he was a Raider last year. I know he, he wasn't necessarily like a, an absolute beast but he's a very good player and I think it's going to help our pass rush from last season I hope he's going to get um and I expect him to get a lot of sacks this year and help that help the defensive line as a whole and I'm I think Derek Morgan's going to start living up to his potential a little bit more he's been disappointing such so far after drafting him out of Georgia Tech uh, I thought he was going to be an absolute stud I mean he's been decent but nowhere near as hyped as he was and I think the signing of Cameron Wembley is going to help him that much more um, that's really all I got. Um, it's gonna be fun, like I said, to see how T.O. does with the Seahawks and the QB battles. Um, it's gonna be a fun game to watch Saturday night, 9 o'clock, on NFL Network. I'm definitely gonna be watching that. I might make a recap video for that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be making a video for every, uh, every preseason game, but I know I will. Going into the season, I'll be making, uh, more of a trash talking type video during the season. This is nothing really to trash talk about because it's the preseason. But um, I guess that's it, guys. Um, what is there to talk about? Real fast. Um, I'll be talking about this some more in my upcoming videos. But when football season is in the full gear, I have this upload schedule that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, the same uploads and the same um, not the same videos, but like the same type of videos. I'm gonna have a schedule for them. Up to 12 videos a week. That's going to be stressful, but I got to get my channel growing a little bit. And uh, next week, I might do a sort of an Alabama prediction preview um, video for the season. I don't know. Um, maybe. And then later, probably next week or the next week after that, uh, make a, a, another Michigan hate video. Um yeah, and my school starts back, not next week, but the next week, so don't expect as many videos in, but when the, when football does get into full gear, be expecting more vlog type videos and prediction videos and stuff and TTC videos for Alabama and Tennessee Titans. So, yeah guys, that's been it, and as always, roll time, go socks, and go Titans. See you later.